No Man's Sky, a game that will be remembered forever for all the wrong reasons. Yes, we're still talking about this because this is still relevant. I know, I can't believe it either. So you know how when No Man's Sky first came out and all those people were like, oh, they're gonna add stuff in later, don't worry. And a week ago, I would have been like, you people, are unbearably naive. It makes no sense, why would they? They already have your money, and nobody's playing a damn game anyway. It was at like 700 players recently, it was like the lowest ever recorded for a game that launched with several hundred thousand, that's pathetic. No Man's Sky really was the greatest scam in video gaming history. They take this game, they take this really cheap, really little, really dinky little survival game, and they mass market it, they decide, hey, we're gonna fool everyone into buying this, and we're gonna charge $60, and they got everyone in on it, and somehow it worked. Y'all fell for it. The game cost $60, it sold millions of copies, and it was a studio of 15 people. Obviously, Sony's taking some for the marketing budget, and I'm sure they had to use some of it to, like, pay off debts for using software or something. But that is still a shitboat of money divided among very few people. They are all rich. They could all retire right now. They want. They, they don't have to have trust to make new games because they already have all the money. Why would they continue to update a game? I know, and guys, I know you think people make games for fun or because it's their passion or because they believe it's the right thing to do, but there's one reason people make video games. They would have been fine. They would have been scot-free. Everyone would think they're pieces of shit, but who cares when you have that much money? You're an awful person. Maybe. But I'm rich and I'm pretty, so it doesn't really matter. Except for the UK false advertising business, and we haven't gotten much of an update on that, so I'm not sure how that's going. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! And I think that might be one of the only reasons they're still committing to this, be like, hey, we didn't promise all these features at launch. But base building wasn't one of the initially promised things that wasn't delivered on. Hello Games has been on media blackout for two straight months until recently when they just out of nowhere pop out the foundation update they're calling it. It's the m first of many more to come. And there's a patch in there too so it fixes some stuff supposedly. But the big things it adds are survival and creative modes so it's like there's now three ways to play the game. Base building and messages. You can leave messages for other players now. There's your multiplayer, okay? We Legal requirement fulfilled. And because of those few things, once again, everybody's losing their shit. Look at this f***ing crap. Are you seriously doing this again? The game is already out. We already know it's shit. And this is why I say f*** the gaming industry because they're doing this hype train bullshit again everybody everybody you see all these taglines no man's sky is good now no now since the update there has been a spike in players from like 700 to 5,000 or so i think which sounds good and promising but that's not people buying the game that's people who already bought the game and couldn't get a refund or thought it wasn't worth it to return it trying it again and saying, oh, well, hell, no, maybe, maybe this will change it, maybe this will fix it. All right, seriously, but if you bought No Man's Sky, you didn't like it, and you returned it or traded it in and lost money on it, and then saw this update, saw all this YouTube, Facebook, games media coverage saying it's good again, and bought it, you are a special kind of stupid. Nobody is gonna fall for this again. Can we? I, I know we're dumb, but we're not that dumb, right? There is a limit. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist! Now, I haven't played the game since launch. This isn't a review of the update. I don't know how in-depth it is, but I know the basic concepts and idea, and I've watched other people talk about it. And the trailer gives you a pretty good idea of what's in it, huh, assuming we can trust it. So it adds base building. I don't know how good of a base building it is, but, you know, it's a step. It's something nice. Is adding something to this game good? Yes. That is a positive thing. Does that make it a not shitty game? No. Like I said, my biggest problem with No Man's Sky was the core gameplay loop. Adding base building does not change that. Most of the gameplay is still gonna be running around pointing a mining laser at rocks. Like I said in my initial review, this adds another crafting, this adds another side activity to a game that desperately needs a main activity. And also because base building seems completely contrary to the whole point of No Man's Sky, which is get to the center of the universe, art isn't the whole point. 
to bounce from planet to planet to get resources to continue to move forward. That's what they've advertised it anyway. Now, if they're trying to change the direction of the game away from that, then maybe this could work. Because that was a stupid point, because we all know what happens when you get to the center of the galaxy. Nothing. So if they're trying to change the gameplay to more of like sticking on one planet or a couple in one system and just kind of adding to that, customizing that, making it your own, Maybe, maybe there's, maybe there isn't malicious evil in that decision. But like I said, it's still a survival game. It's a better survival game, but it's still a survival game. That they're still charging $60 for, that was still false advertised all to hell, that still runs like shit and still looks like shit. And is boring. I mean, there's clearly a market for this game. It's for free-to-play indie games on Steam. You know, the whole Ark Survival Evolved and Seven Days to Die and the Forest and all that shit? That was blowing up not too long ago. You know, if they wanted to make it like Minecraft, like a platform, and subsequently add things to it? Difference is, Minecraft was a good game from the start. Look at Destiny. Destiny did that, and everybody thought that was shitty, so why is it okay when No Man's Sky does it? People are still defending them, too. It's like, oh, they've experienced so much abuse over the past few months. These, these hard-working people are still working on this game, and it's like, f*** that. F*** excuses. They're liars. They stole our money, and f*** them. Our money. I'm kind of personifying the whole games industry right here. They didn't steal my money. You know, will they eventually update the game so much that it becomes good? You know what? They might. I find it unlikely, but it's a possibility. But you will have to add a shit ton more than just base building. You have to fundamentally change the game. Hey, and maybe way down the line, it'll be a good game. But if you're somebody who thinks it's okay to charge $60 up front for the promise of a good game... I question your conscience, and I question your gullibility. I mean, at least they are doing something. I'm not giving them props. I'm saying, hey, they're not being as evil as they could be. But hey, they got people talking about them again, and no publicity is bad publicity, right? You know who Sean Murray is? He's the shiny crab from Moana, and you guys, you guys who are who are buying into this, you're the fish. Fish are dumb, 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 chase after anything that glitters, beginners. Oh, they will come, come, come to the brightest thing that glimmers. Mmm, fish dinners. Moana's amazing, by the way. You should totally see it. I just love free food. And you look like seafood.